Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, today is St. Andrew's feast day, uh, but I would like to take the Fatima uh, prayers for the day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have seen through my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, O the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your Son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride or dress for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne. You see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them, and they shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all the tears from their eyes. There will be no longer any death, and no more mourning or sadness. The word of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. The word of the Lord. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth, and may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are 
God grant you to be always held in honour and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are... Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believe that the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord God. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother, the disciples he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. It's the most uh, beautiful way of John putting the gospel and telling us that Mother Mary is our mother. John the Paul II reminds us it in this way. Diligently pray and strive for holiness and read the scripture very well so that you are prepared, so that you can contribute to the world, to the church. So this is what John Paul reminds us. And if you read, look into the readings of the day, St. Andrews, it says how the disciples are being called by Jesus. It explains the situation, the circumstances of the occupation. And then God calls him, calls them, and they follow him. They leave everything and follow him. The telltale of God's presence was in Jesus, and therefore that attracted him. No more they felt that they need to go to the temple, and they began to follow Jesus because they found Jesus God living in him. And this is what happens when we come to Fatima too. There are telltale tales of God's presence everywhere as you walk around the place, as you go the way of the cross. It speaks of God being present. Nobody can deny the presence of God in Jesus. So, it is up to us to understand this Jesus. It is up to us to throw away all the doubts that arise in our hearts and to defeat it by the reading of the Bible, the scriptures, as John Paul reminds us, St. John Paul reminds us, to read, to pray, increase in holiness, so that as the disciples follow Jesus, keeping him in mind, throwing away all his doubts as they went through the life in their life. And then they were able to not only help the world, but the church. In a similar way, God is asking us, inviting us through Fatima to be diligent in our life, to be holy in our life, to be diligent about what we do as a family. Pray to be holy so that we can contribute to the world and the society.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let's uh, take a few moments uh, to pray for the world. The world needs a lot of our prayer. The law, the world, because of faith, because of our faith, it also calls us to work diligently, to pray diligently, to be united as a family in faith in Jesus through Mary, so that the world may experience peace. We also shall pray for the church, because the church is our mother who invites us to reflect, to look into Jesus' life, to look into the lives of saints and Mary, so that we become diligent in our life. We shall also pray for our families, because our family is a domestic church where faith has to be inculcated, where prayer and holiness in our lives help the future generation. We shall pray for the priests, because priests are in the image of him. Therefore, in the word, in the Eucharist, let's ask God to give them the strength to be diligent, to be holy, to be enthusiastic about what they do. We shall pray for our nation and the political people so that they may unite us, they may guide to the ultimate peace that God provides us. In a special way, let's all remember all those departed faithful and pray for them. Lord, in your mercy, your prayers. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands are made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer to offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and of praise, so that in celebrating this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary as well as Andrew, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is Father, all-powerful and ever-living God. We do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. And as we honor the memory of Blessed Virgin Mary, we proclaim with fitting praise the greatness of your name. She is your lowly handmaid, receiving your word from the angel Gabriel and conceiving in her virginal womb the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. She is a faithful mother, standing fearless beside the cross, as the sun sheds his blood for our salvation and reconciles all things to himself in peace. She is a disciple of Christ, the daughter of peace, joining in prayer with the apostles as she awaits your promised gift, the spirit of unity and peace, of love and joy. Now with the saints and all the angels, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving life bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love, together with Francis our Pope, the Bishop of this area, and the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, 
Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take your medicine, so Lord. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray you, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth the Mass is ended to love and serve the Lord. We shall say the prayer for the priest, Lord Jesus, present in the most blessed sacrament and living perpetually among us through your priests. Grant that the words of your priests may be only your words, that their gestures may be only your gestures, and their lives be a true reflection of your life. Grant that they may be men who speak to God on behalf of his people, and speak to his people of God. Grant that they be courageous in service, serving the church as she asks to be served. Grant that they may be men who witness to eternity in our time, traveling on the paths of history in your steps and doing good for all. Grant that they may be faithful to their commitments, sales in their vocation and mission, clear mirrors of their own identity, and living the joy of the gift they have received. We pray that your Holy Mother Mary, present throughout your life, may be ever present in the life of your priest. Amen. <laughs>